Um, I'm Aditi and I just literally finished my exams this May so um, I'm this close to graduation and um, this is just a video about you guys that are basically going to get into your final and scary third year and you've got the whole summer ahead of you and um, maybe some of you who have got internships have it all planned out and you know exactly what you're going to be doing but I'm quite sure there might be some of you that haven't got internships or just chose not to do an internship and you know um, take it easy so basically this video is about what you guys can do this summer before you actually get started at university university and um, stuff that you can actually do which will help you to prepare for third year so that's what I'm going to be talking about so I hope you find this fun um, one of the first things that I think you guys can do for summer is to actually go out there and get any kind of work experience or get an internship or go out and volunteer so basically um, I know that a lot of competitive internship programs at the big four companies or investment banks and um, consultancies would have shut by now because people have probably already joined so what can you do um, don't worry I'm one of the people that didn't get an internship last year and I'm perfectly fine so don't worry about it if you haven't got an internship there's loads of stuff you can do um, if I don't know if you guys know but there's this um, University of London job database called job online um, just go on job online if you go on Royal Holloway's website and click um, careers and then you click job online you just go on there you don't even have to register nothing and you can have a look at all the jobs in any given industry and um, they happily they use job online to hire so that means they are not those kind of red tape bureaucratic oh my god I need to do a numerical test kind of people they're very basic humans that actually read your application and you just send them an email and if they like you you get the job so use that go on job online find yourself a job they also have volunteering positions but I'm saying if you can't get um an actual internship or any kind of work experience through job online don't worry about it maybe go speak to your neighbor if they're working in a you know small business or if they own their own business you know just go and talk to them that's kind of like a more easy casual work experience what i did was um I just went down to my local community center and they teach IT to um, senior citizens and people that are actually struggling to use the internet. And I helped out and that was every Wednesday, you know, and I did that for like two to three months. And that was some of the best um, volunteering experiences that I've had because you actually meet so many new people and you learn about what people are going through. You actually think, wow, I'm a genius. I know how to use Internet Explorer and Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. So you know just go out there and do it and believe it or not it actually does look good on your cv because it shows that you did something you just didn't sit at home and eat pizza so you know that's obviously got to be a good thing so that's one thing you can do um i think another thing is that you can take up your own project so for example if you're um very interested in programming let's say you build an app or you know build your own program and then say look i did this and um you know i may not have gone on and officially got experience but i did something of my own accord which is a good thing or um just start a blog which is what i've done now <laughs> you know um, go and start a blog and um, write about what you're doing or um, if economics is your chosen area then just write about economic effects of the UK referendum or economic effects of I don't know what just pick something you know um, so that you can show uh, basically the idea is something that you can show with proof of evidence that you did so anything that's like that should be perfectly fine um, I think other stuff that you can do is um, if you basically if none of this is for you you don't want experience or anything just basic stuff like Excel, you know, I cannot emphasize the amount of jobs that ask for Excel, Word, um, Word we all know, I think, but um, access as well. Those are some things that you need to know about how to add the formulas in, blah, blah, blah. So I think um, go out there and get, you know, just go online and say how to learn Excel. And I'm sure you'll get like loads of results and just, you know, practice with it because then you can actually say, I know Excel. I know how to, you know, use color to highlight my numbers and that kind of thing. So um, it's always a good thing to go out and do. Um, I think another thing, so that was the summer part of what you can do from the work experience aspect, but what can you actually do to prepare for the academic side of third year? Because, you know, you've got a good amount of time. I don't know how many of you are thinking of doing a dissertation, but I definitely thought about it last year and I used the whole summer to think about good topics to actually, um, you know, um, decide on a dissertation topic. Because a lot of the time people come back in September and they're like, ooh, I don't know what to do for a dissertation, you know, but had you spent that time in the summer, you'd have a much clearer idea. So go and think about ideas. Just say, um, go on Google and say dissertation topic ideas and you get like PDFs about 50 to 60 topics about, uh, I mean, they give it to you and then just pick out something that you like, you know, if you can't think of anything that you personally want to do, that's a very good option. Um, 
Uh, some things that I have at the top of my head, if I was in your position, would be um, economic effects of a Brexit, economic effects of Remain, you know, stuff like that. It doesn't matter that it will be done by then. It's just something that will get you thinking. And in the process, also think about who you want as a supervisor. So if you're doing marketing, um, email a couple of marketing lecturers, you know, email Derek Chong, email Justin, email so many different people. Or if you do want finance, um, find out who the finance lecturers are and email them. Um, because then you can say, hi, I'm thinking about X, Y, Z. Would you mind being my supervisor? I'm not sure how this works but i think it's just good to think about a potential supervisor and how you'd work around it so that's something that you can do as well um i think also one of the most important things that i'm now going to cover about third year is the modules that you choose unlike first and second year you don't have to choose modules that you don't like so effectively what we're saying is you have a lot of freedom if you're doing single honors management single management like what i did um you get six options so there's only two core modules 3915 and 3925 the rest you get to choose um, bear in mind that a dissertation counts for 30 credits. So that's like doing two modules. So you, you know, um, ha obviously your options change accordingly. But I personally, um, I did a lot of research about what modules I want to do by thinking about whether I'm an exam person or an essay person, because you obviously need to think about, um, do you like writing essays or, or do you like exams? Because a lot of modules don't have exams. So yay. But also then you're thinking, oh, I don't want to sit down and write a 3000 word essay. So think about it. You know, um, I would say uh, off the top of my head, if you want to get into IT, definitely do data analytics. This is data analytics. That's by Catherine Harbour. And um, it's an excellent module if you want to get into like IT programming. Data analysis was one of the top skills. So I've basically graduated and everyone wants it. So programming in R, which is the software package, is something that everyone wants. So think about that. Think about strategic finance, accounting, if you want to get into finance. Um, think about if you want to have your own business. I was thinking about that briefly. I went ahead with responsible entrepreneurship and there's new venture creation as well. You know, just think about things that you want to get into in the future because these modules will actually help you. It's not like first and second year where you don't actually like it, but you still have to do it. These ones are stuff that you're going to use in your um, life ahead. So I would say give it a good think. Um, if you want to get into management, like being a management manager, then you just choose project management because that's a very interesting one as well. It's kind of like a mixture of everything that you've done at Royal Holloway. Um, what else did I do? I did international business, Asia Pacific. I did modern business and comparative perspective. Absolutely amazing modules. Love those. They were totally essay based so no exams um, a lot of reading a lot of research but totally worth it in the end because it helped me understand the world as it is so how does Japan link to Germany link to the US link to the UK and you're like do they actually link yeah they do so take that module if that sort of stuff interests you if Asia interests you somewhere you want to work in the future take that as well lots of choice lots of options there's um, a link on the UG information vault so go on there and um, they've got this whole list of um, basically uh, descriptions of all the courses that are on offer for next year. So go and read that before you actually make a decision and um, think about it. Think about how you're going to structure it. Are you going to do six modules in first term or two later, five in first term or three later or three in first term, five later. Think about how all of that is well, because that's all in your hands. So um, a lot of freedom in third year, but a lot of responsibility. So I think that should be your summer pretty much taken care of. If you do all of these things, you're pretty much going to be well prepared. Get some experience. Think about how you're going to add it, add value to your CV and um Hopefully, you know, you'll have a great summer and then you'll be back at Roho for third year. And um, we'll think about that at that point. But good luck and have a good summer. Bye, guys.